Hey everybody, it's your girl Bunny Pose, season two, episode nine. Life's a beach. That's all coming up next. opening scene Blanca she's in her bed there's lots of fans it's hot she's tossing and turning she can't get comfortable and she gets a random phone call she looks at her clock like it's 4 a.m who the heck is calling me at four o'clock she goes to the phone you can see the dismay in her face we see her go to the nail salon and it is burned to a crisp now I told y'all in that other review that Miss Frederica that was not the last we were gonna see from her now if you remember she is the mogul the real estate mogul and they thought they had it with that protest and bringing awareness and putting the condom on her house and I told y'all look this is a money-making machine she has connections she can make things happen and unfortunately she did she found one of her goons to burn down the shop and what made it interesting it was just that area that burned and she told Blanca hey you know what I got it all figured out this is burnt down I get rid of you then I bring other customers to this area I triple the value of this this place and none of you can afford it in other words a nice way of saying that I'm gonna gentrify this area he cut to Electra. She's at her dominatrix job. And she's sitting there in the lobby waiting in the waiting room. And one of her co-workers says, girl, you still, what you doing here? She's undressing. And Electra's like, well, you know, I had, I had to make money. And she says, look, it's getting dry. It's the summertime. A lot of these big Wall Street men that come in here, they go to their summer homes, they go to their families. So girl, get your money because it's about to shut down. And by the way, you got a trick that's in there waiting on you. And Electra is like, oh damn, I almost forgot. So she heads back to her room and it's a gentleman that's completely covered earmuffs and his eyes are covered and she she uncovers his eyes and we learn that he's a guy that likes to be completely consumed to where he can't hear see or move he wants to be in a zone and completely isolated so Electra says look when do you leave because I know you on Wall Street and you got all this money when are you leaving for the summer and he says well I'm not leaving for the summer I really like this can I come back tomorrow and she says come back tomorrow why don't you have fun it's the summertime and he says well I do have a summer spot but I barely go there so I don't know I'll think about it. next scene we see all of the girls they're over at Blanca's Blanca is explaining to all of them hey look my nail shot burned down and y'all are so optimistic and thinking everything's gonna get better it's hot they're sweating they got like 20 fans going on they are so pressed we're having some type of ac and they're like it's okay be just hanging there girl it's all right she's like look i put my savings all of my money into the shop and it's gone and you want me to stay calm and electra says you know what this is a lot that's going on we need a girl's trip as a matter of fact I have the perfect place and I thought to myself, Miss Electra, please <laughs> do not use or do anything that's gonna jeopardize y'all going to jail because that would that wouldn't be good. Electra says, hey, don't worry about a thing. Come to my place tomorrow morning, dress to impress because I'm taking you somewhere special. She said, plus, you know, my house is starting to stink. And of course, you know, Angel, she says, well, why is it starting to stink? And she reflects back. We have to remember back early in the season when a previous trick died because he choked on his own vomit from using drugs. So we're having to cocoon this trick into disintegrating so they can get rid of the body. So she still has this body in this trunk in her closet that is decomposing. So she has air fresheners all up in the closet and she's trying to keep people away and out of her apartment because they did mention why are we going to your place with air conditioning she had to use that excuse well it's something about the wall unit and it's just making this weird smell so she covers that up and has a moment like oh I, I, I kind of forgot about that let me stop before I snitch on myself so anywho the next morning they all meet up and miss lectures we have angel that looks wonderful Lulu and everybody's there 
and we have Blanca that shows up. She has a t-shirt and some shorts on and a hat. Miss Electric is like, oh, boo, like, what do you have on? We are about to go to the beach. What are you, what is, what is happening? And she says, look, this is me. I'm not all bubbly and foo-foo like y'all. I'm just comfortable with this shirt and these jeans. Plus, I don't want to get clocked. And clocked is a terminology that we learn if you didn't know somebody can peep game that you're a man or there's something different about you so she was worried about getting clocked so look Electra says we're gonna go to this spot I'm gonna hook you up it's all on mother don't worry about it they get her nice they're in the car they're jamming Miss Electra can't drive they pull up to the estate and it looks like this bombshell modern home everything has art and sculptures and they get all comfortable and I'm like ooh Electra are you supposed to be in there does a guy know that you're at his home and then the next scene we cut to the gentleman is in a cage in his isolated gear and he's aware that Electra has this house and she pulls his eyes pulls the garment over his eyes and says look we're here you know she pulls the the, the ear constraints back and he's like oh no I want to be in constraint and of course Blanca and them they're like is this okay how does he go to the bathroom and Electra's look like look I got this this is what he likes I check on him in the morning it ain't nothing but a thing they head to the beach they're having fun fun in the sun and they are relaxing looking fabulous and Blanca says you know what I've always wanted to go into the ocean and I just we on vacation y'all come on Miss Electra wasn't having it Lulu was like no nah, I'm staying here I, I'm, I'm good in the shade and Angel said you know I really want to go on the water but I'm terrified my dad tried to take me when I was a kid I'm not having it. Blanca was like look going into the ocean come on girl so Angel finally says okay I'll go with you they have a little chit chat as they stroll to the ocean shore and Blanca says look I promise I won't let you go speaking of promises are you keeping your promises that you're not touching that stuff that you kept your promise and Angel's like promise oh yeah 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 I haven't touched that stuff y'all know what I think what I said in the last review I really think that Angel will be her own downfall, unfortunately. I hope I'm wrong, but I think they're setting us up to watch us see them fall. So do I think Angel was lying when she told her that? Yes, I do. If she's not using, if she's telling the truth about not using cocaine again, I think she's clean for now. But as soon as she gets around her foo-foo friends and she wants to fit in so badly, keep in mind, she's still trying to make her footprint in the model world. She just might fall into that. And we haven't checked up on Poppy. Will he be the one to pull her back into that world if she is clean? We don't know. So the next scene, we see Angel screaming, help, help, what's going on? And I'm thinking, oh my goodness. And of course, it's our worst fear. Blanca is swept by the ocean waves and she is struggling trying to swim and she's literally drowning at this point. So the lifeguard comes out and he pulls it out the water and he's giving her CPR. And of course, Miss Electra and everybody else is going crazy. And Electra's like, I can't lose another daughter. And they praying and about to pass out and she coughs up the water and she sees this beautiful lifeguard standing over her and of course they are taking really really deep breaths and Blanca is just mesmerized and just wooed by this very hero heroic act that she's experiencing almost dying honey and her, him saving her after that that you think that was enough they head back to the house and they're like, girl, it ain't nothing to eat or drink or anything in this big, rich house. Like, I mean, what's good? We don't have anything here. And Electra says, look, we're going to go out to eat. We're going to wine and dine. This is all on Mother's. So they go, and they're getting all types of lobster and oyster and all this foo-foo food. And they're having a good time. And you can see the, the side eyes of everybody looking at them like, mm, and you're thinking, uh-oh. It's something about to go, there's <laughs> something about to go down, and it kind of did. This white lady from another table walks over there and just, just a Debbie Downer, and she says, look, um, I'm here with my family, and you guys are being loud, and we would really like it if you would tone it down, and Electra said, look, we're the same volume as everybody else. Like, what do you really want? What's really going on? 
And the white lady says, well, <laughs> I've been in the city and I know men dressed up as women uh, anytime. So if I were you, and Electra proceeds to get up and read her for filth. And they are just snapping and letting her just go in on this lady. And she just clutches her fake pearls and <laughs> goes back to sit down. So Blanca... While that was happening, unfortunately, she missed everything because she had to get up and go take a restroom break. And as she's coming back, she sees Adrian. We learned that the lifeguard's name is Adrian. And she says, well, hello. And they talk a little bit and he tells her his name. And he says, look, why don't we take a walk along the beach together and talk? So when she comes back to the table, she tells them, look, the lifeguard's name is Adrian. And they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's all great and everything, but we know what's going on. And you can't trust the situation. Hello, don't be a fool. And Blanca's like, I trust my gut. I think this is right. And they like, her. Well, in the meantime, take this to protect yourself. And they giving her brass knuckles and tasers. And uh, Miss Electra give her a pop-out knife and a switchblade and all kind of stuff. So they go on their walk along the beach and they're talking and they're really having some intimate conversation and it was really nice he's expressing a little bit about his family she's saying i used to have a nail salon i used to have dreams but my shop burned down and you're really starting to feel the butterflies and getting nervous at the same time like is he gonna find out he's talking to a man and she gives little nudges like i might not be what you think i am I'm a little different, using those words. And he looks at her and he says, I know. And you're like, you know what? <laughs> and he kind of gives her the indication that he knows what's going on. So after he says that, they share an intimate kiss. And we go on to the next scene. The sun is coming up and it's the next day. And they don't know where Blanca is. They thinking this man done killed her or whatever the case may be. And Blanca comes gliding in. Well, good morning. So clearly they talked all night long <laughs> to the break of dawn. And she says, no, I'm fine. And they were like, look, we were about five seconds away from calling the cops. So I'm glad you had your evening. She expressed that she had fun and that she gave her number. And no matter what happens, that she was at least excited that she had this experience. And excited that she felt that feeling of being goo gooed and just odd after and the wind and making out and someone liking her for her and she was just really living in that moment so that was very beautiful to see so as the day is going on they're like look we got to pack up and leave that was a nice girl's trip but we got to go so she goes to the trick that's in the garage in the cage remember he's being isolated that's what he wants and she takes it off and she says look this was fun, but now it's time for us to leave. You got to go too. You got to get back to your normal life. And he's just like, no, I love this isolation. And Electra says, you know what? It's a blessing that you can live this fantasy of being isolated and lonely. You're, you're paying for that. It's something you desire. Some people can't help it. It's their life and they have to deal with it. And I thought that was just amazingly um, pointing out that, pointed out that he was requesting being alone. He had a lot of money, he had a house, but she's like, look, I'm not talking about your job or the house that you own. You're choosing to be by yourself and you're choosing to live this fantasy of not having anyone, kind of like giving him the indicator, live your life. And if you think about it, that was really, really nice of Electra to say that because that's her coin. That's where her money is coming from. He's giving her lots of money to do this. So for her to say that and she's not thinking of the money, wow, Mother Electra really does care. So they head back. They're singing in vogue. They're having a really, really good time. Nobody's thinking about the salon burning down. Everybody's just in their moment. And it was very, very good to see because we've had a lot of sad episodes back to back to back. So they head back. Angel and Blanca, they're talking. And Blanca says, hey, Angel, I know you got a home with Poppy and you're not here anymore because you spend the night. So Blanca just really wanted to be with her daughter and spend some time. And Angel's like, I just know you're waiting on him to call you. I hope he calls. <laughs> she's just like, if he calls, whatever. And she, Angel goes into the next room and she's like, Mother, you got a, you got a message. Oh my goodness. 
Blanca's like, whatever, it's probably a bill collector. They press the button and it's Adrian. Hi, Blanca, it's Adrian, how are you? I know you're probably not home yet. And they just act like 12 year olds, like, oh my God, he called. And Angel's like, oh, he's got such a sexy voice. Oh my God. <laughs> Blanca's like, look, give me some time. He called me, you might have to take your butt home. So what do y'all think? That's the end of the episode. So it was kind of like taking a break from all the pain for a while. But like I said in the last episode, it's the calm before the storm. And as we see with the previews for next week, we only got two more episodes left, y'all. Something is happening. The storm is approaching. So let me recap again what my predictions are. My predictions, unfortunately, Angel and Poppy think they're going to be pulled because there's only so much they're going to show us show us with this tragedy because we have to have enough to take us to season three and to keep us entertained that's how you got to do television shows you can't give us too much you got to keep us coming back got to keep us coming back so i really feel that angel and poppy are heading in a very dangerous direction not that they want to but they might want to try to do good but just that desire to fit in is just going to pull them it's going to pull them back I see and hope that Pray Tell and Blanca can mend their differences, but a catastrophe is coming. Is someone sick? Is someone hurt? Has someone been lying? And I said in the last video, I really thought there was Angel and Poppy. Of course, we see uh, Damon, he's back from being wherever because he looks distraught, running to someone. We don't know what's going on. Let me know what y'all think. Do you think it's going to be a tragedy? Am I wrong? Is it happiness coming and I'm just mistaken and I'm anticipating sadness? Let me know. I hope y'all enjoyed this review. Pose. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Like this video. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any posts. And follow me on Instagram. Same profile name. Official bun underscore E. I'm out. Love ya. Bye.